Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA here. Now, as most of you know, our Jetty system is the most advanced radio system in today's market. So much so that we are actually a generation ahead of our competition. With our Jetty duplex transmitter, we can actually assign our fail-safe settings wirelessly as well as fully customize your channel pin assignments. So today, that is what I'm going to show you how to do. First, um, you want to go into your main menu select your model, and go down to Device Explorer. Now you'll see your receiver name pop up. If it does not say the name of your receiver, then you need to update. Um, you need to have firmware of 3.2 or higher in order for this to work properly. So you'll see our R9 receiver right there. We're gonna go ahead into that. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the failsafe. The failsafe will kick in if you lose the link to your transmitter. As per the AMA regulations, certain functions like your engine, motor, or tur turbine must actually be turned off if this occurs. So this is where you're going to set that. So we're going to scroll down to failsafe. And the first thing I want to show you is the failsafe um, delay. Um, you want to make sure your failsafe is enabled. And once it is, you can go down to your delay. What this will do is actually set up a whole system delay. So if you lose that link, you want to make sure that you don't shut off or kick in your failsafe too soon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to two seconds right now. So it'll wait for two seconds before the failsafe clicks in. Now, that's for the entire whole system. If you want to set it for each individual output pin, you can very easily do that by scrolling down to your output pins. Um, we're going to set up output pin number one. You have three options. You can have it in hold, you can have it off, or you can have it into failsafe. For this demonstration, we're going to show you how to set up the failsafe. Now, say for example, we're running a motor and you want to go ahead and have the failsafe kick that motor off. We're going to set up output pin 1, which is connected to our motor to be the failsafe, and we're going to kick that down to 100% so that it will actually turn off that motor completely. And then, like we set up the whole system delay, we want to go ahead and change the, the speed or the delay of this failsafe. So I'm going to set this up to one second. So if we lose link for one second, our failsafe will kick in and turn our motor off to negative um, 100%. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to actually show you is the receiver output screen or your channel pin assignments. So we're going to go down to receiver output um, and say we're working in a sailplane and we have space and antenna restrictions. We may need to have our rudder and our elevator plugged into pin 8 and 9 because it's towards the back of the fuselage. This is where we would adjust those settings. So we have our output pins, one, two, three, four. We're gonna scroll down to output pin eight. And we want to go ahead and set pin eight up as our elevator. Um, and then we also wanna go ahead and set pin nine up as our rudder. So now you can see we have our elevator and rudder on eight and nine, but we also still have them on six and seven. So I need to go ahead and delete the elevator and rudder from 6 and 7. So we're just going to click it and make it empty. Okay. So now we only have 8 and 9 set up on our elevator and rudder. But say I want to assign my pins 2 and 3 to aileron 1 and 2. I can very easily do this here um, by selecting the pin, just like we did when we removed and added it, and reassigning it. And I want my flaps to be on 4 and 5. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have two and three on ailerons one and two, and pins four and five on flaps one and two. But there's another neat thing that this transmitter will allow us to do. We can assign groups. So let me go back up to pin two with our aileron one. I want to assign this and we'll say group D. What this will allow is whatever is assigned in group D, the receiver will send the signal to the servos in the, simultaneously, which actually eliminates the delay between the servos. So as you can see, I have ailerons one and two set up in group D. We don't recommend putting more than four servos in a single group, um, but this is a great way to eliminate any extra time in actually having the servos respond. Um, the last thing I want to show you is if for any reason you mess up and you just need to completely reset this, you can come down to right underneath receiver outputs is reset to factory defaults. Once you click that, it'll ask you if you want to apply these changes and you hit yes. Now everything we've just done has been reset to our defaults and we can start over. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us um, through Jetty USA's website or through Esprit Models website. Thanks for watching.